I see the Mario. I know, Jaime playing Mario. Chet or Che Dunskis? Rock. Chet Dunskis playing Shea. the Falcon. Che Dunskis. Chet Dunskis. Jaime finding his grab. That Nair is such a strong tool against Falcon, but he just barely misspaces it. Yeah, the, the Falcon recovery can be a lot more powerful than people can, uh, give it credit yeah. for just because it can grab. And right. It has a lot of range, but it's not enough to be a neutral from virtually any of the cats. That reverse forward air is so clean from Jaime. We have been informed that this is our last match of this wave, so hopefully this is a good one. Ooh, very well placed fireballs. That down air to Nair is so deadly on so many characters because you think, okay, Mario's down airing my shield, I need to axe, and then you just get hit by that strong air, especially at the ledge, you're just like, well, I guess that's it. Why am I spacing so well? I tried to do that, that down air that we talked about in this matchup earlier, but I couldn't find it. The weak up air from Hot Man as he lands. Wow. Oh, that was a really good trade. Okay. That was great. Chet on the board. He crouched the grab? Is that a thing? I didn't know Mario could do that. Uh, yeah. And then he retaliates with down B. Uh, uh, Falcon's grab goes, goes really high. And so a couple of characters can crouch under it completely, including Kirby, Jigglypuff. Yeah. And I guess Mario? I guess Mario in certain situations. Oh, clean wow. stuff. That Edgehog. Oh, Jaime with the taunt, though. Jaime is just not shaking. Well, I don't really know. I think he always has the same expression. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Because he did start off really dominant, and then Chet started to put in some work. Started to bring the heat. Oh, nice. This okay. is where you could possibly find that down air, but doesn't need it. Hits him with a fist. I noticed he, he used a low angle down uh, forward smash rather than a high angled one, which would have done more damage on the lockback. Uh, maybe he was purposefully looking for a edge guard opportunity. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a mistake. Reverse back air. That's super deadly as well. Falcon's still alive off the blast zone, but not going to be enough to make it to the ledge. As Chet, you can't be too disappointed in that game. Um, no, not at all. He started off kind of slacking and then just made it really competitive at the end. So if he can keep that entire momentum the whole game, then he definitely stands with a good chance. And versus Jaime, that's yeah. respectable. That is really respectable. Jaime is an excellent player. One of the That's finest out there. Yeah. So good by Jaime. He plays the fireballs like perfectly to where even if he up airs the one, which Falcons so often do, he still eats the second one from the lag. Clean stuff. He's just looking for that. Looking for that edge guard. Bringing this pressure on the platform. Jaime knows he's gonna falter on the pressure. He just waits. Yep. Oh wow, that was. Jaime oh, I mean, just waiting for him to, to back air the fireballs. They're going in anyway. The scoops are there, and he waited for the tech and almost covered it. Yeah, his placing was just a little off. Yep. I like the fade away, but if you fade away from that far back, you're not making it anyway. So yeah. it's the same thing as taking a hit, unfortunately, for Falcon. Yeah. Oh, this could be it. This could be an yeah. opportunity. See, ah. He's too afraid of that Mario up B. Yeah. And for good reason. He was not in any position to just sit on the ledge, but. 
Yeah, a lot of people a lot of people are too afraid of taking a hit. They don't want to take a trade. Boss aversion. That's what that is. Hey, that's not the time to get creative. If you're down by that much, I mean creativity could help you in some mix-ups, but Falcon's such a tried and true character, such good and consistent bread and butters, so that's what you need. What does Falcon do here? He's just waiting for Mario to come in. Come in unsafely. Mm -hmm. Which is what he should be doing, honestly. Uh, Falcon is fast enough and he's mobile enough that he can run around Mario. This is where I kind of want to see some new oh. things, like the up B's coming out. You, even a raw up B would have worked, but I like that he found the um, the combination with the down air. Don't get too comfortable. You're still down by a lot of socks. Jaime is just aggressive enough that you're, you're not sure when and how he's going to come yeah. in exactly. But when he does, it's a strong move. It's like that perfect mix of aggression and defense to where you're afraid of him, but when he's standing still, you're still so afraid of him when he's doing nothing that you just are lost. You don't know what to do. And that's like what makes, that's like the two things that can sculpt the perfect 64 player.